Guys, it's the end of summer, and I don't know about you, but I am not looking forward to it because I don't want it to get cold. But you can go sledding. But snow sucks. Anyways, I thought today we would celebrate my favorite food of the summer, the watermelon. We could build a snowman. <laughs> Stop, I'll get that song stuck in my head. I'm gonna break down four eight inch rounds. This is my YDB meringue cake. That's what it says. Wait, wait, what does YBD mean? You've been deserted, duh. Oh, jeez. Come on. Anyways, I dyed it pink, and then I added these little crispies. They're chocolate crispies, so they look like watermelon seeds. That's brilliant. Isn't that cool? Yeah. This is sticking to my hand, so hurry up. Oh, I got See, it. Look, watch. I got it. <laughs> now it's all over my hand. I used to think when I was a kid that if I ate the watermelon seed, they grow out of your belly. Yeah, I grow watermelons out of my butt. God, our parents were awful. Actually, do you do that to your kids? Let me know. Do you tell your kids that they eat watermelon seeds that'll grow in their belly? Why would you even do that? Why does it matter if you eat watermelon? Isn't that like fiber? Anyways, I'm, put, I'm going to fill this cake with pink buttercream so everything matches. But you guys have seen this a million times, so can we just montage through this? Yes, can we do like an under the sea montage? No, because I don't have a merman tail. How are we gonna do that? We'll fill Ooh. the house with water. No, 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 I got it. Let's do like silent film. Oh, brilliant. I'm gonna make a white chocolate mirror glaze. You guys have asked for this so many times. So now the recipe is on youbeendeserted.com and I'm gonna make it for you now. But we need to make this first so it has time to cool. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our powdered gelatin here and sprinkle it over cold water. You wanna make sure the water is cold because otherwise this will lump. And then we're gonna take a whisk and just make sure everything is hydrated. Ugh, it smells like animals. <laughs> Why? Does it smell gelatin? Why is it smelling made from animals? No, it's not. It is. It's made from heaven. Anyways, okay, we're gonna put that to the side and let that bloom. So in a minute, that will be sort of like thick because that's what gelatin does. And now we're gonna get the rest of our ingredients into a pot to boil. So I have water, additional water. And we have our corn syrup. Whoa, that's a lot. And we have our evaporated milk. <laughs> Look at it, Brandon. Oh, that's tasty. <laughs> Isn't that weird? <laughs> okay, and then we have our sugar. I can't wait to have some of this cake. <laughs> it's gonna be delicious, just wait. And has white chocolate in it too. So I'm just gonna get everything, uh, you know, incorporated, moisturized, and then we'll get it on the stove. All right, you ready? Come on. Come on, come on. So I have this on sort of medium heat so I can chop my chocolate because you don't want it to burn, but we do want it to come to a boil. Yes. All right, Gary, watch that. Okay, I'm on it. Chocolate. So I'm chopping this with a serrated knife. And the reason why is because it kind of shreds it as you chop. Also, I want to make this very clear. You cannot use coating chocolate here. You have to use real chocolate. See, sugar, cocoa butter. If that says palm oil or any other fat, this is not going to work. So real chocolate, you can get this at the grocery store. It's like on the top shelf. Yes, it's more expensive, but. Let me just chopping it up. Just chopping it up. The thing is, is that the hot solution that we pour over this is gonna melt the chocolate, but if you chop it, it actually will melt a lot more quickly. So uh, how's your animal byproduct soup going? Oh, look at it. You ready? I'm gonna shake it. Ooh, Ooh gelatinous. It looks 
looks like some weird cheese soup. <laughs> now we're gonna add uh, animal hooves to it. Who knew that hooves would be so good? It's gonna melt pretty quickly. You can do this with a whisk. I like my trusty hand blender, so I'm gonna use that. Try it. You're gonna eat it? I'm, of course I'm gonna eat it. Gross. No, it's delicious. Oh, it's so good. Way too hot to use though, so we're gonna put this to the side, throw our cake together, let this cool down, and then we'll do our drips. It looks like pond water. No, it doesn't, it's delicious. So now I'm gonna show you how to do some really cool texture with this guy. So this is more of a modern style cake home. Uh, I'll put the affiliate link below so you guys can get this as well. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put different color green in between here. So now we gotta scrape it off the cake. So this part's gotta be flat, right up against the cake board, see down here? Line it up, and then we scrape. We just wanna make sure the pieces that pop out of this are smooth. What if they're not? Then we just keep going until they are. Did you just use a regular hair comb for this? <laughs> Ooh, we should try that one time. Slash no, that will never work. Okay, so here's, what, here's the deal. So see, these are all pretty smooth. I'll fix that one, but then we'll put like different color of green in here and then we'll do the pink drip. It'll look just like watermelon. Your comb looks like the comb when I was in high school when I'd use <laughs> LA looks. <laughs> LA, you're showing your age, Brandon. People are like, what's LA looks? It's uh... Well, it used to be this green snot that we rubbed in our hair when we were in eighth grade. Thought we were so rad. It's full of alcohol and glue and now I'm bald. <laughs> You're not bald. <laughs> Give this baby a little haircut. Beautiful. All right, she's going into the cooler to firm up and then we'll do our green. Cake, super cold. Now I've got two different colors of green buttercream in green bags. I didn't plan that. So there's the raised part and then the part that's indented. So we're gonna pipe in the indented part. And yes, it's gonna look really messy, but we're gonna scrape it off. Whoa, baby's burpee. Okay, so we'll skip one. How do you think of this stuff? What do you mean? This is like super trendy right now. Oh. So this is a much easier way to get stripes on a cake than having to use fondant. So now we're gonna take the double mint color. Remember the old double mint commercials? With the twins? Yeah. Yes. Double your flavor, double your fun. It was double your pleasure, wasn't it? Uh oh. Something, something, something to the devil man gum. That's not it at all. I wanna make sure the white part of your cake is super cold, so I popped them in the freezer for a minute. That looks terrible. I know. Here comes the magic. So we're gonna scrape all of this off. So I've got just a flat scraper here, 90 degree angle, push it up to the cake and just go. It's gonna look crazy for a minute. Let it look crazy. So as you might know, my wife is Persian. She's from Iran and she speaks Farsi. I do, I know all these things. What's watermelon in Farsi? Hendune. Hendune. With yeah. a h or a i? Eh. Hendune. Shout out to all the Persians. Comment below if you're Persian. For real, if you know Farsi, teach me some words in the comments. Actually, we'll teach Brandon some words. I know like 70 Farsi words. Do you know how to say what's for dinner? Sham chi darim. Do you know how to say let's do shots? Be a shot mezzanine. <laughs> that sounds like let's do shots in, in English. Do you know how to say music? I, I don't know how to say anything, Brandon, so you tell me. Music. Oh, well that just sounds like <laughs> regular English. Let's give the top a scrape. Oh my God, I got buttercream everywhere. Maybe don't show this part. Okay. Okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Focus, stand by. God, okay, go. You're getting green schmutz all over the top. I know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't? I, no, because I'm gonna scrape it off. And then also we're putting glaze all over this so you're not gonna see it. That looks pretty good. We're gonna get this into the cooler, let it cool completely. And then I'll scrape through and tighten it up a little bit more. But so far, she looks pretty red. Yes. Hendonay time. <laughs> that means watermelon, if you didn't see the segment before. So I'm gonna make some little wedges like this that I will paint. This one's completely dry out of gum paste. So we'll put a little bit of you can use cornstarch or powdered sugar. I like cornstarch. I'm just gonna roll this baby out. So I'm gonna trace it out with this clay tool first. Boom. Watermelon slice, it could be pizza, it could be anything, but right now it's 
really sad. So what I do is I let it dry for half a day, flip it over half a day, and now it's ready to paint. We have to wait a half a day? No, I have them stepped out. <laughs> so I have a bunch of colors here, and I'm gonna do this kind of like watercolor. I want it to look really painterly since the cake is sort of like really tight with the stripes. I've got a little bit of food grade alcohol here so we can like wash it out and have this sort of painterly look. So we're gonna build our palette. A little bit of pink. I only have the one color of green, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a little green, a little bit of yellow, and then to darken our pink, we're gonna do some red. For our seeds, we'll do a little bit of black. So not gonna lie, all these colors look like the same color. Well, it's, except for this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually use my parchment paper as kind of a palette, adding a little bit of alcohol, and then we're just going to sort of put some color on. I'm not gonna paint the whole thing because I wanna wash over it. And we'll go back with a little bit of just the alcohol and just sort of wash it all out. What if you don't have a paintbrush? Um, you kind of have to have a paintbrush to paint, Brandon. So now we're gonna do green, but on the top, I'm gonna start with yellow. So we're just gonna add a little bit of yellow to the top here, like this. And then we'll come in with our, is this what the green was? No, I'm confused. <laughs> there we go. I'm just gonna paint green right on top. Oh, I see what you did there. It looks like a watermelon slice. Well, I mean, that's kind of the point. And then for the final, I'm gonna just put some seeds in here. Cool, okay, so I'm gonna paint the rest of these, let them dry, flip them over, paint those, let those dry, and then we'll stick them in the cake. But I'm just gonna rip through this. Nice, do you know what we should do? What's that? We should read some viewer comments. Ooh, let's do it. This one comes from Rose Art. What's up, Rose? And she says, Am I the only one who kept hearing butt pan every time he said bunt pan? And no, a lot of people said this. I even had a friend that called me that told me that her, her boys couldn't stop laughing because they thought I was saying butt pan, so yes. Tammy Anderson, what's up Tammy? She says, my daughter set a reminder while screaming, Mom! Second episode with Joshua! <laughs> and all I said was, um, okay. Thanks, Tammy. Could you get a little more excited about You've Been Deserted? Because yeah. it's brand new. Do you want to be invited to dinner or what? Right? This is from Mapla Pagar. You crushed that one. Maple. Mapla Pagar. Mapla Pagar. Mapla Pagar. Says, hey guys, what do you listen to when you're piping or creating decorations? Audiobooks, TV series, music? By the way, love the bromance between you two. Oh, Brandon. Yeah. Great chemistry. Well, Brandon and I are like brothers because we've been working together for like 10 years. When I'm working on something at home, I usually listen to classical music or Florence and the Machine because that is my favorite band. What do, you, what do you listen to, Brandon? I listen to your mic feed, dude. <laughs> Thank you guys for that. I read every comment. I try to respond to as many as possible. So please keep them coming and we'll try to read them every episode. All right, I gotta get to work. I mean, who's gonna miss summer? This cake makes me so happy. Guys, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and please comment because you might get featured on the show. I'm Joshua John Russell, and you've been deserted.